letter names and letter sounds. What's the difference? Which is more important and which should we teach first? I've got answers for you in this video, so keep on watching to find out. Hi, my name is Finn and welcome to my Fun Home Learning Friday. Now in this video series, I have a new video and a printable for you every Friday so that you have a fun home learning activity to do with your children during the weekend. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss any of our Fun Home Learning Friday videos and printables. This episode is part of our Literacy Success in Preschoolers video series where I share the skills that can help your children build a strong literacy foundation. Definitely go check out the earlier episodes 1 to 3 if you have not done so. I am so happy that many of you are loving my videos and printables so far. So I just want to let you know first that you can grab all of these printables that I designed over at HP Printable website and I have added the link for you in the video description below. I feel so good about producing these videos and printables with our sponsor HP who believes in the goodness of concrete, print-based and hands-on learning for children. So thank you HP! Now if you also want your children to enjoy the benefits of print-based learning, having a good printer and affordable ink is so important. With my HP Instant Ink Printer and the Instant Ink subscription service, I can print learning printables for my children every day without worrying about running out of ink or the cost. I am now paying $8.90 per month for 100 pages and these pages include both black and white and coloured pages. Yes, you heard me right, the coloured pages cost the same as the black and white pages. And with this instant ink subscription service, I save up to 50% on ink. There are also different price plans for different print volumes, starting from $1.90 per month. So you can definitely find a price plan that caters best to your family's printing needs. Right now, HP is giving a 3 months free trial of their HP instant ink subscription service. So click on the link below to find out more details and give this amazing on-demand ink subscription service a try. This is episode 4 of our Literacy Success in Preschoolers video series and let's talk about letter names and letter sounds. I'm going to start by explaining what they are. So on this card, I have letter S and it makes the sound S. So S is the letter name and S is the letter sound. And a big question that educators cannot stop debating about is do we teach letter names or letter sounds or both? I'm gonna start by saying that the letter sounds, they are the foundations of phonics and letter sounds are what will help your children read in the future. For example, when your child knows that B makes a sound and A makes a sound and G makes a sound, they can blend these sounds together to read the word back. So knowing the letter sounds is an important skill for your children to learn to decode new words that they see in the future and to read them. So I would say that teaching letter sounds is a must. Because of how useful letter sounds are, many schools of thought support teaching letter sounds only first. But are letter names really redundant? Of course, the early learning researchers have to find that out. And studies found that learning the letter names is important too. That is because the letter names provide cues to the letter sounds and children can use the letter names to help them learn the letter sounds. And studies shown that children who learn both letter names and letter sounds are more likely to learn their letter sounds. So when teaching letters to my children, I introduce both the letter names and sounds at the same time. So for example, when I'm teaching letter F, this is what I will say. This is letter F and it makes a sound it is a lot for your children to remember both the letter names and sounds, so introduce new letters slowly, taking time for your children to remember both the letter names and sounds. Phonics songs are extremely helpful too. I want to share with you one of my favorite phonics songs, teach children both letter names and letter sounds. So this is how the song sounds like for letter J. J is for jellyfish, j, j, jellyfish. And you can easily change the sounds, the names, and the examples in the song for other letters. So for letter M, the song will sound like this. 
M is for mouse. Mm, mm, mouse. I also like to use my children's name in the song. So for example, my daughter's name is Abby. So I will sing the song like this. A is for Abby. A, A, Abby. Try this song with your children. I also created a set of printables to reinforce the concept of letter names and letter sounds. First, let's print out the printable. This is our printable of the week. To prepare the activity, first, cut out the squares on page 3. Now for young children, you do not want to overwhelm them with all 26 letters. Work with a small group of letters first. Starting with the letters in the red houses, then the orange, yellow, green, blue, and finally the letters in the purple houses. Read a letter name and its sound on one of the triangles. Then say the name of the pictures on the squares, emphasizing the beginning sounds. So for example, this is letter C and it makes the sound K. And what do we have here in the squares? And mushroom table car which one starts with the sound k. invite your child to find a picture with matching beginning sound as letter c then paste the square under the triangle to complete the house do the same for the rest of the letters this set of letter names and sound houses printables they are free for everyone to download so be sure to hop over to HP Printable website to grab them. I have the link to HP Printable website in the video description below. If you love my videos and all of these printables, please help me share my videos with all your friends so that more children can benefit from these resources. Next week, I am going to share an important phonics skill that you can teach your child at home. So be sure to come back for another Fun Home Learning Friday video. See you next Friday. Bye-bye.